It was not too long ago when our pioneers came from distant shores to build a new future for themselves. Life was a struggle, bitter and hard, and we were not masters of our own land. We spoke a dozen different tongues. United by a common dream, we learned to live and work together. But suddenly, war and invasion came. Our hopes for a better life were lost. We had no rights, we had no say, and we longed to be free one day. After the war, we wanted change. We demanded a say in our own land, a voice for our own future. Some wanted democracy, others a communist state. Fear grew as riots broke out. It was a time of great uncertainty. A glimmer of hope appeared when we attained self-rule. We took a vote and marched with Malaysia. But even friends disagree sometimes. And more trouble soon began. Our happiness was not to be until our country could be free. On August 9, 1965, we were out of Malaysia. We were on our own and Singapore had to find its own way. We got off to a rocky start and things seemed bleak for us at first. The odds were against us. But we worked together because we knew that we had to build a nation of our own. It was also when my brother joined the army. No one was going to defend Singapore but us. We took charge of protecting our home, our fellow men and our loved ones. We slowly grew stronger. We learned to stand on our own two feet. My school was very different from the schools today. But some things have stayed the same. This is where we continue to build our nation. Singapore doesn't have much, but what precious few resources we had, we treasured and worked hard to be self-reliant. We didn't start with much drinking water, but we innovated to ensure that sparkling clean water runs through our taps. Singapore is a big and well-connected city today. And more than that, it's a city in a garden. Our many connected roads, reservoirs, and parks lined with trees all add to our city's beauty. These, together with our many achievements, have won us praise from friends all over the world. It was not easy for Singapore to get to where it is today. We suffered setbacks and met with difficult challenges. Our resilience was sorely tested. A few caused us harm and much anguish, but we rebuilt, we overcame and we restored. One thing we learned from these incidents is that we are stronger when we come together. The Singapore we live in today is a nation of many races, languages and cultures. Our friends may look different from us, but deep down, we are rooted to the same land beneath our feet. Our parents and grandparents have given their blood, sweat and tears to forge the modern, multi-ethnic country we call home. They have all stepped forward 